This is a review of the Max Air RV roof vent. I installed two of these RV roof vents with the integrated rain cover on our camper. And today, I'm gonna to go through why the Max Air fan is one of the best RV roof vents out there. The specific fan I'm going to be reviewing today is the Max Air 6200 Deluxe with the integrated rain cover and this is made by max fan i will put a link to this specific max fan down in the description below along with all of the items i use to install the max fan in our camper when we originally bought our camper it came with two fantastic rv roof vents we upgraded both of those to the max air one reason for doing so is the integrated rain cover it's great to be able to open your RV roof vent when it's raining outside and not worry about water getting inside. The other nice thing about these covers is they're pretty robust. So you can drive down the road with them in the up position so you can get airflow into your camper even when you're driving. Now the cover is currently in the up position. Now this is the cover in the down position. It has a nice low profile so you don't have a big hump on the top of your camper. Now let's go inside, talk about the other features of the Max Air fan along with how it's installed. Besides keeping the rain out of the camper, the RV vent cover also helps filter a lot of the light coming through. But if you're someone who likes complete darkness, there are these magnetic shades. These are made by Van Made Gear. They go over, keep all the light out, and then you can just take them down when you don't want to use them. Now the cover itself has two arms, so it's pretty robust and it's really nice because when you have heavy winds, the top doesn't rattle around like some other fans do. The Max Air 6200 has all manual controls, so the knob to open and close the fan is here. You can lock it into place. There is a on-off button, fan speed up and down in and out and then you can also hold to set this at what is it 78 degrees so if it's set at 78 degrees it'll turn on and start the fan we've never used that feature but it is available now this works for us because we have a lower roof if we had a taller roof and a larger rv or you were shorter you're not able to reach the ceiling then it makes sense to look into a model that has a remote control so you don't have to worry about using the buttons on the fan itself now our particular fan has 10 speeds. This is at the lowest setting. It's actually very quiet. It's one of the reasons we like it. It's also very energy efficient. If we want to go all the way up to full power, it's much louder. But the cool thing with this is I'm actually using it right now with the top down. So it's acting like a ceiling fan and helping to circulate the air in the camper, which is great if you're running the heat and in a cold environment and you wanna keep that hot air moving around. If I open the lid, the fan is currently sucking air out of the camper, but I can reverse that. It'll stop, reverse the direction, and now blow air into the camper. So now I'm getting a nice breeze. Since we have a second fan, we can have that one, let's say, suck out, this one blow in, and it really circulates the air in the camper. The screen on the Max Air is easy to remove, so you can clean it. There are four tabs that just have to be twisted. And then the screen pulls right down, run it under some water and clean it off. And then if you want, you can take a rag and then go in and clean the fan itself. We found that we have to clean this screen more often because we're in the kitchen and whenever you're cooking, if you have oils and things, it tends to stick to this and grime will build up on it more quickly. Since I was upgrading both of the fantastic vent fans in this camper with the Max Air vent fan, it was very easy for me to do following the manufacturer's instructions. There were already the 14 inch by 14 inch holes cut into the ceiling, so there was no additional cutting for me to do. All I had to do was remove the old Fantastic vent fan and install the new Max Air vent fan. 
if this isn't something you're comfortable with doing, then you can always take it to an RV dealership or other service center, a place like that, and they can do the work for you. It was also easy for me because all the wiring was already run to both openings. So all I had to do was tap into the existing wiring and off we went. It's working. It's working. It's working. Good job. Thank you. Now we have run into an issue with the Max Air vent fans. The control board for the fan sits right above these buttons. And we we're actually in some cold weather. We got a lot of condensation in the camper. And what I learned happened was the condensation built up on top of that control board. And the first time I went to go start the fan up, there was still some moisture on there and it shorted out the board. I called customer service. They quickly sent me a new part out and it was easy to swap out myself. But in doing some research on the internet, I found this is actually a common problem with some Max Air vent fans. And the solution to it is when you get your board to take your board and spray it with conformal coating, which protects it from moisture. Now, when we got our second fan, before I even installed the fan, I took the board out, sprayed it with conformal coating, and then put it back in and the fan hasn't had an issue since. If you already have an RV vent fan that you like and it works, they do sell rain covers for those fans. Now we did this on our first RV, it worked great. The problem is those covers stick up pretty high, whereas the Max Air Deluxe, when that cover comes down, it's pretty low profile. The Max Air Deluxe works well for us. We like that it's quiet, energy efficient, and has the integrated rain cover, as well as the manual controls. Now, if you're interested in any of these products, we will put all the links in the description below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to see more cool content, head on over to our website at we'retherussos.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.